CNIT 101 Operating Systems 1. Please note that this video is meant for those students who are taking this course with me in City College of San Francisco during the summer semester. If you are taking this course during any other semester which are longer than summer semester, stop watching this video because the information does not apply to you. Otherwise, let's quickly jump over what we do. The course delivery will be through Canvas Learning Management System. To access Canvas Learning Management System, you need to have an account with CCSF. Make sure your account works properly before we start the class. If you have any issue accessing Canvas, please contact the IT department of City College of San Francisco. You can find your contact information on the website. Okay. Let me walk you through what you need to do starting this course. The first step is to come to the course syllabus. For that, you click on the syllabus link on the left. When you arrive on the syllabus, I need you to read through the syllabus. Reading through the syllabus, you're going to find the first link, which is Meet Me, which clicking on it is going to take you to my website. And on this website, you can get some information about your instructor. Also, when you go up here to courses and you come down to CNIT 101, you can arrive at the detailed syllabus of this class. Remember, this is a general syllabus that is being used for this class. So for fully online classes during the summer, there are slight changes in the syllabus. For example, there is no course project. What is important for you is to come down here to textbook and click on the link that I have here for the textbook, which is going to take you to Amazon where the textbook is available for your purchase. I need you to obtain a copy of the textbook, whether that's a rental, borrow from a friend, copy from a friend, or anything that you want to do, you can do. As long as you have the textbook, we are happy. So the information about the textbook is available here. As you can see on the website, take the ISBN, go ahead and obtain the book. Next step is to review course policies and guidelines. All the course policies and guidelines are detailed and available on my website over here. To go to my website, if you haven't done that, you can simply just go ahead and search for my full name. And when you go there, this link usually is the first to pop up, which is from the sites.google.com, Ali Kararudi. You click over here and it's going to take you to my website. Over here on the website, as you can see on the top, there are policies, okay? When you go over the policies, there are communications learning environment, academic integrity, community rules, netiquette, ad drop, participation, and late work. Please take time, go ahead, click on every single one of these, read through it carefully, and make sure you're adhering to these rules and policies offered to you so that we go through this course with the minimum amount of possible confusion. You can also come back here to the course syllabus page and click on every single one of the policies which is going to take you right there to the website and you can read it. This link to course specific syllabus is going to take you to the syllabus page on the website again. On the labs and project files, your book will be referring to some projects. During this course, I will not be asking you to submit any of those as a homework. However, it is a strongly recommended for those of you who want to learn better to go ahead and complete those projects. For completing those projects, you may need some files. To get those files, simply come down here, click on the Students Companion page from the Cengage, which is going to bring you here and this data files is what you can download and uh, successfully 
completes those projects. So some of those projects are referring to file with a specific name and so on and so forth, which those are available on the website. The additional equipment you need. It is important for everybody who is attending this class to have access to a working computer with Microsoft Windows 10. Some of you guys have a Mac. If you have a Mac, you can easily install a virtual box. Let me just go ahead and pull it up for you. This is a free version of a virtual machine, Oracle VM Virtual Box. Just download VirtualBox, install it, and you can run a version of Microsoft Windows on your Mac without paying a penny. However, there are other applications like Parallel Windows and so on and so forth that you can download for money, which is not a matter of this course. I'm not teaching you how to use those. However, there are multiple videos available online which, which they're going to walk you through the steps that you need to take in order to successfully use those. There may be changes to the syllabus, remember, uh, but I usually don't do that. However, if I do any change, I will be sending out an announcement that you can receive on Canvas. If you're a student who needs academic accommodation, I have the information for DSPS, Disabled Student Program and Services, right over here please go ahead, contact them, ask for accommodation, and uh, they're, they're going to help you. Do not bring it to me first. I'll be more than happy to work with you after DSPS approves the accommodation, and uh, we will go from there. If you don't have access to Canvas, this is the phone number you need to call, 415-239-3711. And from there, you can get access to the Canvas. Or you can email helpdesk at ccsf.edu. I have left other links over here. Please go ahead and study those. So this is going to be the first step. Go through course syllabus and do everything that needs to be done, including getting the book. Next step for you is click on Home. And then you're going to land over here, which has all the information about the communication and everything. And click on the start here down below, which is going to bring you to this orientation page. When I'm done with this video, I'm going to just attach it on top of this page so you can see it. Read through every single information that is provided to you over here. And move forward, clicking next. The next page presented to you is the first discussion. This is the meet and greet discussion. Read the instruction carefully, and when you're ready to do your first post, simply click on the reply down here, which is going to open up a page for you, which you can start typing and then click on post reply. It's very simple, very intuitive, and straightforward, so I don't think you're going to have any problems. When you're done with the discussion, meet and greet, when you click on next, you're going to go to course Q&A. This is important to understand. There is no requirement for you to come here and post weekly posts. This is just for those people who have a problem, who see an issue or anything. So they come here, post it, and other students and me, myself, are going to come here and respond back to you. Please remember, if you face any problem that is not personal, you have to post it here. Don't email me that problem. Just post it over here. It is sometimes better to get that answer from your peers than me myself. Okay? If you have an emergency, of course, go ahead and email me according to the conditions explained here and the communication policy okay that's what I need you to go through and uh, study before even you start the course okay let's see how everything else looks like let me just go to the modules and show you the modules each module excluding the orientation module which basically has all the information I discussed and an orientation quiz 
which you need to take it before the modules get opened for you. Remember, you will not be able to open these modules unless orientation quiz is submitted. Okay, you see here it says prerequisite module zero orientation. It only opens up if this is posted. So if you cannot see this module, it's because the orientation quiz is not submitted. Okay, anyway, this is how a generic module looks like. You see module one, same structure for module two, same structure for module three, and so on and so forth. So each module starts with a guide to the module then starts with a lecture part one of the lecture which i call it section x1 and then it goes to the discussion so each week you're going to have two discussions to attend to i'm going to talk about discussions in a little bit more details very soon then goes to a review homework or assignment or whatever you want to name it which is going to be a short quiz and is targeting the information that is provided to you in section X1. Then you're going to start section X2, another short lecture, another review quiz, and then there's going to be a comprehensive lecture which aggregates section X1 and section X2 into just one big review module, and then you're going to take the module exam. Remember, you're not going to have any individual midterm or final exam in this course. Your exam grades is going to be built up based on the small exams you take. There is a total of 10 exams that you're going to take during this course, which are uh, spread over six weeks. Each week you take one and you move on. Let's go back from the beginning and review it together. When you click on the a guide to the module, it is going to tell you that how many activities you're going to do in this module and there is going to be a list of all those activities so if you have forgotten that you did something or not you can come back here and look at the list it also tells you what you're expected to learn throughout this module clicking on next next activity is going to pop up this is a lecture example you're going to read through it there are signs, multimedia, and everything that is going to show you uh, what we mean by what we're talking about up here. So you go all the way to the bottom of the page, you review the lecture, and try to learn ac across with it. My, I strongly recommend you to have your Windows computer running. While you're looking at this, I want you to go ahead and kind of like play along on your computer making sure you can find everything that is mentioned during these lectures and if there is an action required to happen uh, I definitely want you to try it on your side okay so when the lecture is over you're gonna click on next which is gonna take you to the discussion so the first discussion that you get on module one is basically about your experience with operating system Remember, each discussion requires you to post an original post and two responses to your peers. The original post is due by the due date that you will see on the discussion. However, the posts are due by the time that the discussion is being closed. It is critical to remember that if you miss the deadline here you're not going to get no grade so if you don't have no original post then there is going to be no grade for you because you're limiting your peers from being able to respond back to your post and therefore you're going to lose the grade usually when you come down here let me just open up the information about this discussion so if you look at the deadlines there is available from so discussions usually start from the beginning of the week and they're available uh, to the end of the week or to the midweek make sure you're looking at the availability first week discussions are available for the full week but right after that discussions go available for only four weeks four days there is a due date so for example for this discussion your original post must be posted by June 17th. 
and every due date in this class is going to be at midnight. Therefore, you see 11.59. However, after June 17, you still have till June 21st to post two of your uh, responses to your peers. Can you do it earlier? For sure, yes. If you want to do everything at 15, which, is, which that's open, and you're lucky enough to have another friend's post available, then you can kick it out of the way and you don't have no reason to wait till the deadline. So when the discussion is done, you click on next. And of course, there is a quiz. This one has review one one for Windows terminology. Notice that you have seven points, which usually mean you have seven questions to answer. And you have a time limit of seven minutes. And there are no multiple attempts. None of the quizzes in this class come with any multiple attempts. So you only have one chance to take the quiz and your grade is going to be recorded. Of course, there is always a deadline. For this one, deadline is uh, June 17th. And it's available from June 15th. And it's going to be closed on June 21st. Meaning you still have some delay and uh, latency um, available to you for taking this quiz. But most of the quizzes don't have that option. First week is being taken lighter than any other week and that's why you see these because I want to give you the chance to get familiar with the course structure, okay? When you're done with the quiz, click on next and then you're going to have the next lecture. So this is the next lecture. So go through the lecture, practice it on your Windows 10 computer, make sure you're good with it, then click on next and you're going to land on the next quiz. Okay? Seven points, seven minutes again. And then you click on next after you took it. Of course, I'm not going to open it on this video. Then you're going to have a comprehensive lecture, which basically is a full review of the other two lectures before you take the exam. When you're done with this, when you did the review, and you feel confident you're going to take the module exam, which is exam one in this case, okay? Here you see you have 25 points and there is no time limit. Please read these informations before you start the quiz. It is important to know that these information vary from module to module and quiz to quiz. So make sure you're reading it loud and clear. Then click on next and you're going to land on the module summary which is telling you okay this module is over. Uh, this reminds you of what you learned and reminds you of what activities should have been done. And that's the end of the module. So click on next is going to take you to the next module and so on and so forth. Let me go back to the home page so that we can talk about it a little bit more. First week, you're going to have one module covered throughout the week. So deadlines are, are kind of stretched out. It's easier. I'm giving you time to go through the orientation. I'm giving you time to get familiar with the course, making sure you have your Microsoft Windows computer ready. All in all, kind of like easing you into the course. Starting week two, you're going to have two modules per week. And this is going to continue all the way to week 10, where you have only one, uh, sorry, to week 6, where you have only one module on that last week. For the two module per weeks, you go through this schedule. On Sunday, everything becomes available to you. So the module opens. On Monday, you have the original post of the discussion deadline. And you're going to have the first review assignment. The day after that on Tuesday, the next review assignment comes to the play. And then Wednesday is when we finish this module. Remember, throughout these two days, Tuesday and Wednesday, you're required to do the response posts. And then on Wednesday, you're going to do the exam module. However, all of these activities are available to you starting Sunday. So if you want to spend Sunday to kick everything out of the way, you most possibly are able to do so if and only if 
your friends have already posted something on Sunday and you can respond back to them. But remember, there is no requirement for them to do so. And I really want you to practice. So that's why these are stretched through four days. On this same Wednesday, everything becomes available for the second module. Then you're going to have the original discussion deadline and the assignment. Then you have the next review. And then you have the deadline for the two responses and the module exam. So we're all good to go. So Sundays are where we have no deadline. All the other days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, you're going to have a deadline. So let me go back to home and from there to modules. And we're going to look at some of these deadlines. So look at uh, week one. First of all, notice that orientation quiz is open all the way to the June 26th. Uh, then you have first module, which starts on June 15th and goes all the way to 21st. That's full week. Module 2, as you can see now, the deadlines are 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. And this module is done. Next module, 25th, 26th, 27th, and the module is done. So these two, module 2 and 3, actually happen on the same week. And then module 4, 5, and all the way down to module 10, which the last deadline of this class is going to be July 25th. I want you to look at these deadlines very closely. Be careful, guys. Sometimes you see the deadlines uh, are not exactly in alignment with what I just said, especially last week and first week. So it is always safe to look at the deadlines that you can see over here. So it tells you what is meant to be done. All of these modules, all the 10 modules that we're going to go through, which are equivalent to the 10 chapters of your book, are already published and they're going to be available to you as soon as you finish the orientation quiz. You cannot go further down the road because the availability time starts at the beginning of the week and you can only be three days ahead of the schedule, no more than that. If you have any questions regarding the problems with the course or, uh, or issues with the course, please post it to the course Q&A so other students can also take advantage of that. If you have any personal emergency, please email me and I'll work with you. Uh, I totally understand uh, life happens and all that as long as you have a valid reason for having a problem I'll try to work with you however remember this is a very short-term course goes through only six weeks one and a half month really we cannot stretch out that much so uh, try to come to me with a plan when you have the problem come to me with the suggestion and tell me what works for you the best to see what we can do Regarding the deadlines, deadlines are not extendable for the same reason. Within six weeks, we really cannot uh, play a slacker in this, in this course. When the deadline is over, there is no way to come back and open up that opportunity for you to submit the work. So please, please, and please look at the deadlines, plan for the deadlines, and make sure you're reaching out to them. These homeworks, these assignments, they don't take more than six seven minutes of your time per those uh, review quizzes and the final exam usually takes 25 minutes the rest of the eight nine hours a week must be spent over studying learning doing the exercises go through the exercises that your book has for this six week course i decided not to include labs as much as you think so you still have the labs in here through those reviews. Those are asking you questions about what happens uh, in the lecture, which lecture itself is nothing but a lab instruction. So it's more like hands-on instruction for you to go do something on the computer and learn through doing it. Uh, I hope this video is not so long. I just wanted to explain everything for you again. Uh, go to the syllabus, the start from syllabus. Everything that I just told you is explained and written in text. 
uh, read through it. Still, if you had any question or problem, let me know. Uh, hope to see you virtually on our meetings. Uh, one last thing that I can tell you is I'm using Confer Zoom in order to schedule uh, Zoom meetings. We're going to have synchronous Zoom meetings uh, twice throughout this course. I'm going to post them. They're going to be in the announcements. And uh, those are optional. Remember, there is no mandation over you attending these meetings. Uh, however, if you decided to attend, you're more than welcome to come in, use it as, as like an office hour for me and ask your questions. Uh, thank you for registering this course with me. I hope you have a good experience in this course. Your feedback is much appreciated. Please feel free to email me with your feedbacks. Thank you.